you guys have an amazing team. Like, like I've got board experience, but I took a hiatus for a while just because it's tough. Like, I'm happy to be on the board, but the, like you guys, what you're doing and the impact you have in the community and like the structure that you put in place to get things done, like it is wild. But mm. like we have the English Learners Language Assistance Program for us in, I think we're in six schools and obviously we'd love to be in all the schools, but funding is an issue for that as well. That's right. <laughs> really? So like just, and I tend to forget like all the things just under my hat, mm -hmm. but like we have the English Learners Language Assistance Program for uh, students in, I think we're in six schools and obviously we'd love to be in all the schools, but funding is an issue for that as well. So yeah. we're always looking for more funding for Ella because the uniqueness of this region is that yeah. there's so many newcomers. That's right. And it's so accepting of people or cousins that are with them that are not quite in the school system yet or parents or grandparents. Mm. And they're in turn teaching those language skills at home or being able to support them through like appointments and that sort of stuff. Yeah. We're not just helping one student. We're helping an entire family. One of them is a financial literacy program. Uh, for literacy level one and two. Originally, um, when the program was in its inception, it was geared towards newcomers. But people in the community were learning that 